Hello everybody, so you have made it back to another JQ on the go video and in this video I'm going to be talking about my late 1999 Ford Mustang GT. So as many of you know or you can click on the card above, I sold this car back in May of 2020 and I made a video kind of explaining why I sold it, a video of the owner picking up the new car and even a video of the new owner taking the Mustang on the drag strip. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to check out that playlist. But I just want to talk about today why I loved my 99 Ford Mustang GT and the five best things about my Ford Mustang GT. So as I was just talking about, the looks of this car are gorgeous. This little clip that you're actually watching right now is for an update video I made, make sure to click on the card above, about just cleaning up the car and fixing a small oil leak I had underneath. But when this thing gets cleaned up, it's absolutely gorgeous. And these lines, these body lines are great. And like red paint is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I, I'm a sucker for red. I did grow up with this car, so I might be biased, but I absolutely loved it. And I feel like it's aged pretty well. So now the next part I want to talk about is how versatile this car was with doing modifications. I did a bunch of modifications, which I have talked about with my throttle body, my off-road X-pipe, my exhaust, doing all of the brakes and all that stuff. It was super, super simple to do. And even the coil packs, I did that really easy in my garage. And this is coming from somebody who hasn't worked too much on a car before this car. So I have to say this platform overall is really easy to work on. And there are tons of videos like mine out there with tips and helpful guidance on what you should be doing with these cars. Ah, let's see if I can do that. Do we want to do that? Let's just see. To the left. And now let's see if we could pull this. And now the broken tail light peak. Right now it's about 7.30. Talk about is the sound. I know I have two videos out on this because I had Borla's and then I had the off-road X-Pipe with Borla's. And overall, people just love the two valve sound. I know like each generation going up has had a distinct sound and the two valve sound is just amazing. <laughs> and the fourth thing I'm going to talk about is the power. And I know that this is kind of a controversial kind of subject or area to like about the new edge, but I really did like the power. I know it wasn't fast. And when I say it's not fast compared to newer cars, you'll definitely get gapped by some Camrys and things like that because the car I'm pretty sure makes 260 horsepower if I remember correct. And I'm pretty sure that's crank. So to the wheel, you're maybe making 230. I'll put all the official numbers here. So like not the best. And maybe after you do an exhaust and do a tune and do things like that, like I said, earlier how these cars are easy to work on you get a little bit more power out
and like the power was just enough like to get the wheel spinning when it was raining outside or anything like that, but like not enough power to hurt yourself. Like you could definitely do some silly things and there were definitely some times that I was genuinely scared driving this car, but I feel like it is a very good starter sports car due to the power that it has. And then my fifth and last thing, which again is controversial for a lot of new edge owners, is the interior. I really, really liked my interior. I thought it was timeless. I know it's made out of plastic and I even had the cloth seats. I didn't even have the leather seats, but I just thought how everything looked and I liked how it had the two nice humps kind of on the dashboard as I'm gonna show in a couple of these shots. And again, just so you can look around the interior, it's 90s Ford, everything's plastic. But overall, I just really enjoyed it. It was comfortable, I had enough headroom. The back seat, definitely a little tight, and I know that there are people who have these cars who drive fast over speed bumps and make their friends bash their heads into the glass. That's a fun game, I never did that, but I know people do that with these cars. And I, the seats went down, and I used it for college, and I was able to pack most of my things in it. So overall, the interior was really nice, in my opinion. I mean, if you're buying this car for the interior or trying to buy it for the power, you're looking at the wrong car, but hey, it's a Mustang. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed all of this. If you have any questions about anything about this car, please let me know. I still have a bunch of knowledge and I have a bunch of paperwork and stuff in my binder and all this jazz. So if there's anything I could do, let me know. And now that the video is effectively over, I just want to kind of put out my bias. As you can see, I love Mustangs. This is another poster in my room. That's another poster in my room. So I do have some bias, I would say for sure, when talking about the things that I loved about my car. But hopefully this video helped you out if you are interested in buying one of these cars or if you just want to learn more about these two valve Ford Mustang GTs. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, there's cobwebs over the shifter. Do you oh, want? Is that, is that in a I know, it's the only thing that's powered in this whole car. <laughs> Do you want to sit? No. Please. Just sit and see how.